Yo, what's up guys? It's Callie and Creatures of Scenaria just updated for this week and we got a brand new time gotcha creature guys. So for those of you that don't know, you're going to want to select buy creatures right here and then make sure you select time gotchas right here on the bottom left. And then if you select previous a uh, few times here, you can see we have a brand new 50 hour creature, the H Yunks. And uh, obviously it's going to have a 100% drop rate because it is all alone by itself. Now some of you may notice that the Helian Warden got bumped up to 275 hours guys. So that is going to take a lot of time to to get the uh the warden there which is kind of nice i know the warden's been dropping in value so maybe this will pump it back up a little bit which is kind of nice all right here we go guys this is the new tier 4 flying carney the hnx right here and that is going to be your walking animation guys check that out now first and foremost you can see we got the beetle like wasp like wings and the uh, butt area as you can see and one of the cool things you'll notice as i turn here is look at the reflection of the wings guys so right now you don't see any reflection and then there's a bit right there and then we also have the same thing here. Let me go ahead and walk over here. We also have the same thing on the legs, underneath the mouth area, and on the back, guys. And let's go ahead and show you guys the running animation. Look at the wings flicker even faster, which is kind of cool. It's a pretty cool creature, guys. Definitely get a little bit slower, obviously. It's not, it's not going to be a fast creature. Okay, so now here is going to be your aggro animation with the aggro call. There we go. And then we got the cower animation with the friendly call. Nice. Here is the hide scent slash mud animation right there. Got that huge reflection. And then uh, here's the broadcast call, guys. And here is the voice. Check this one out. This, one's, this one seems unique. <laughs> it's a very, I didn't expect that sound. All right, so now this is a flying creature. So let's go ahead and show you guys the flying animation right there. So of course it's gonna have some super fast flapping wings as a beetle and wasp would. And then of course my favorite, here is the gliding animation guys. I love checking out the uh, subtle movement of the wings. I just think that's a really cool animation on a lot of the flyers that they got in the game. Now as we're flying here or gliding, I'm probably gonna hit something, but let's go ahead and check out the stats and abilities. So if I select K, you can see we have a max health of 4,000. It's got 90 stamina, 28 for speed. It's gonna do 200 damage, 85 appetite, zero bleed per bite. Uh, we do have one offensive burn per bite and we got one defensive burn, guys. So if you get bit, they're gonna get one tick of burn from that as well, which is kind of nice. And you can see night vision is gonna be three out of three and it is a tier four, like I said. Now for abilities, Q on PC. I'm not quite sure if this is a glitch, but it's supposed to be the food restore like the Citralantas. But as you guys can see here, if I select Q, we're going to get the uh, draining life from your, I think that's the life leech ability. If I push it one more time though, you can see I get a couple more notifications. I'm sure they're going to fix this, but you can see right here, we have 114 seconds for the food restore option. That is what this creature is supposed to have. So there you go, guys. That is going to be it for this creature. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.